Norwich Cathedral was the centre of interest of the whole of East Anglia. To it in procession went the Lord Mayor and Corporation of the city, the Lord's Lieutenant of Norfolk and Suffolk, and the Mayors and other civic dignitaries of Kings Lynn, Yarmouth, Thetford and Lowestoft. Among the clergy was the Bishop-designate of Uganda. They came to the enthronement of the new Bishop of Norwich. The service was graced by the presence of Princess Margaret. Her Royal Highness was greeted by the Dean and escorted into the cathedral. Then came the bishop's procession. Dr. Launcelot Fleming found the west door closed and in the tradition of the church, knocked three times upon it with his staff and then asked to be inducted, installed and enthroned into the bishopric of Norwich. He was then admitted and conducted in solemn procession along the nave. The congregation of 3,000 saw Dr. Fleming proceed towards the ancient throne, now being used for the first time for 400 years. The induction was performed by the Archdeacon of Canterbury, installing Dr. Fleming into the bishopric. In the history of the great cathedral, this was a memorable day. The presence of Her Royal Highness, the civic leaders of two counties and the congregation emphasized the union of church and state maintained since Henry VIII. The diocese is in good hands. It wishes well to the 68th Bishop of Norwich, the 109th Bishop of East Anglia, Dr. Launcelot Fleming.